What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Truck and Fashion. My name is EJ. Uh, but you didn't come here to see my ugly face, came here to see truck. Uh, Sunday, got a couple of things I gotta do to it, and I actually monkey F something together while I was on the road. So my light bar in the back here, for some reason, the bolts back here got loose and then this thing was hanging and the only thing that I could think of is you know especially in that freezing freaking cold was vice grips and I put some zip ties on it just in case the vibration rattled them loose and it worked uh, but I do gotta address that today and I finally found a steering wheel that I like and I'm gonna stick with and it came in finally so I'm excited about that um, made by Forever Sharp. It's a black, which that's what I was looking for. And also in 15 inch, not 14 or not 16, because that's what I found to be the happy medium for me anyway. So here's the steering wheel. There's a part number. Ooh, I think that's sexy right there. Um, does have the rivets, which that's what I wanted. Uh, looks like there's just a little bit of Maybe polished residue there or something, but it comes off relatively easy. Got a hub adapter. That's the horn button. So this adapter is also made by them. By uh, Forever Sharp. And it allows you to use a five hole hub adapter which that's what this is to a six hole steering wheel and that's how you're able to do that I'm um, also got a bunch of uh, my gauges on the top uh, they just had a regular gauge cover not the one with the bezel like I have the rest of them so I bought some new ones for that and I'm deciding uh, to actually go with a shorter style uh, switch extensions still in purple so I'm going to be doing that too and also what I'm going to be doing is where I have my uh, high low range selector mounted that one actually had a hole there made for the power window or I'm sorry the power door locks and I was able to utilize that but because it doesn't sit on there quite like I wanted to it's kind of been eating at me all this time, so I got one without a hole there. And I'm going to put the hole on there myself and see if I can get it a little bit tighter. <laughs> get it tighter? Can we all use that? I went with these short, stubby uh, switch extend extensions like I was saying earlier. Instead of the long ones, because it keeps freaking, like this one broke. Freightliner switches has got to be one of the, the weakest damn switches I've ever seen in my life. Um, they keep breaking for no damn reason. Okay. So I went back with the short ones and I kind of like the look of them actually a little bit better. Go figure, guy like a guy that's hung like a leprechaun likes little things. So these things are pretty easy to put on. Uh, you slip them on the switch and then you tighten this little screw at the bottom of it. Kind of like so. did also finish this got that adjusted had to make it just a slightly larger than what it needed to be just so I could finesse this thing in there it had to kind of go at an angle and then come back this way but I'm much much happier with that much better than what it was that gaping hole was kind of bothering me
those lights here real quick. Guys, there's the steering wheel. Kind of like it. I finished this, the uh, short sw switch extensions as well. Uh, everything. I also finished the high and low range selector. It turned out much, much better than what it was. I like that. Nice and clean. I uh, did change the rest of these uh, bulbs so they can kind of match. These two are still pink. Reason being is I put the other ones that were supposed to be purple on. And lo and behold, they were blue. Blue, blue. Dark blue. So I just put the old ones back on. I'd rather deal with a, with a lighter purple pinkish than uh, blue and you know, the rest of it. did finish uh, the light bar in the back as well, just put two new bolts on it, uh, put lock on it this time, along with some uh, lock, uh, lock washers, and uh, about to drive the truck back to the yard, and get ready for, uh, for tomorrow. Let's hit it! This time I'm keeping a close eye on the weather and it's supposed to be a significant snowstorm pretty much all over the place. So what I'm probably going to do is uh, I'm going to try to find something to keep me out here in Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, um, Illinois, you know, at least places that um, are pretty good with, with snow plowing and, and salting and stuff. I don't want to get stuck too far you know, down south and then not being prepared. Uh, it's supposed to be another significant ice storm along with a lot of snow. Uh, I looked a little bit earlier at the weather channel and most of the places they were predicting you know eight inches of snow and stuff like that so I'm just gonna play it by ear uh, and then try to if I can help you try to find out or try to stay in places where I know they're gonna be okay with taking care of the roads if not I might end up staying home unless I find something that's really really good pain and even then I'm just still gonna bite my time but I look at it this way if I gotta go out on the road and, and you know shut down due to weather I may as well you know do that at home but we'll see how uh, we'll see how that plays out
just bobtail. So you're not seeing me split the gears at all with a splitter. I'm just going on the high range and just two by two. You can do that, especially when you bobtail. There's no need to split gears like that. The only thing with it is the RPM drop's got to be a little bit more. Then if you are splitting them, because obviously you're going up by two, essentially. So let's say, for example, if you're splitting each gear, the RPM drops 200 RPM. If you don't split them and you're going two by two, then it's got to drop 400 RPM. Now, I'm not looking at the RPM and whatever, but after a while, you'll kind of get used to that. And that uh, you can hear it. You'll just wait a little bit longer. You put it in the next gear and off you go. You're not grinding anything. You're not messing anything up. Thankfully I'm done, go home, I'm going to edit this video, post it probably tonight, which is Sunday. Uh, happy Valentine's Day to all of you guys out there and gals. If, uh, I hope your Valentine's Day was good and you got you a little loving. Whatever orientation is up to you. And I uh, hope you guys are happy in your lives and, and healthy and, and all that good stuff. Thank you for the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, this is uh, this has been completely out of my expectations. It really has. It's been unbelievable. Uh, I am enjoying this a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I figured, you know, I'd do it just as a as a little side hobby and, and just you know, something to do, especially when I'm on the road, you know. Uh, but. I am I am in the works of something uh, pretty big for for me anyway, um, and that's also going to take the, the channel towards something that I think a lot of you would like. Uh, there's going to be a lot more content, uh, a lot more how-to videos and working you know on the truck videos than than just you know me driving. That would get pretty boring. Not to to watch kind of the same thing week after week so I'm going to try to switch it up as much as I can um, I did everything that I could possibly do for this snapchat this next chapter you know it's in God's hands and, and hopefully hope you know I hope to God everything goes goes the way it's supposed to I don't I have this superstition almost thing where unless something is done hundred percent concrete I don't want to say you know what it is it almost feels like I'm jinxing myself. Maybe that's just stupid on my part to think about it that way, you know, a grown ass man, but damn near 35 years old. But, I mean, I guess that's how I am. But uh, hopefully what I need to do is gonna get done this this, uh, this week. Like I told my family, it's one of those things where I did everything that I could possibly do and now it's in God's hands. If it's meant to be, it'll be. If it's not meant to be, then, you know, whatever. We'll try again uh, at a later time. But again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support. It has been, like I said, a, an unbelievable experience for me so far. And what's involved to do this and then how much I'm enjoying it. I really am. Even the editing, which is a pain in the butt for you guys that are doing out there. You know it's kind of a pain in the butt. My editing is not, it's not good. Um, you can't even say it's not bad, it's just horrible. But I'm getting there. I'm trying to learn as I go. I'm trying to, you know, find new tricks and, and new ways of doing things. But uh, it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit of time. So I just ask for you guys to bear with me a little bit. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Peace. We'll see you on the next one.